Hey everybody, it's Jeffrey. I'm here with a brand new video series for Dormco showing the do's and don'ts of your college career. I actually just graduated from college a few months ago and have had some time to sort of think about what I wish I would have done and some things I wish I would have done differently in college. If you're about to go into college or already are in college, I hope to give you some advice to sort of make the four years of college the best four years they can be. So when people talk about college, one of the biggest things they fear is that dreaded freshman 15 that everyone's talking about. They say you're gonna go to school, have access to unlimited dorm food, go crazy, and then you're just gonna put on a bunch of weight. Well actually, and I don't know all the scientific numbers or how they found this, but some reports say that the average weight gain is only around three pounds. But I do know some people that did gain a lot of weight and it kind of just came out of nowhere and just smacked them in the butt. And some did gain a lot of weight in their butt. When you do go to college and you do live in a dorm, it is true that you pretty much have unlimited food about 24 hours a day. While there are a lot of healthy options to choose from, it's just so easy to pick all the stuff that tastes so good, but is pretty terrible for you in the long run. And after a while, even though dorm food is fresh and different almost every day, you will get sick of it. And I don't really know how to describe it, but they could serve something different every single day, but it still sort of fits under that category of dorm food. People in college, you already know what I'm talking about. One of the coolest things about going to college is that you're living in a college town. And with that usually comes everything that a large community needs, which includes restaurants and fast food. One of my biggest college regrets and should be a huge don't in your college career is to just not eat out so much. And that's what I did a lot of. And you know why I did a lot of it? Because it was just so cheap and easy to get. Whether it was a late night, weekends, or between classes, it was just so easy to pick up my phone and order some takeout or just walk a couple blocks to the nearest fast food joint and get some food. And as I'm saying this though, it, this all sounds like a bunch of positives to me because I love that food. But if you're living in a dorm, you have access to so much food and so many different options all over campus to choose from. So to be honest, there's really no true reason to eat out so much. A six to $10 meal a couple times a week can add up fast and take a pretty big chunk out of your budget, especially if you're already paying out the butt to eat in the dorms. And if you don't live in the dorms and you live in like a house or apartment, there's tons of things you can do to save a lot of money and eat pretty healthy. And to show you how easy it is, I have Chef Boyardee, and Kelly is here and she's going to help. She's a great cook, she knows how to do stuff. She's lived in her own apartment for most of her college, about half of it, but about half of her college. She cooked for herself between classes, after classes, before classes. It's honestly really easy. So the recipe might list that you need oregano or basil and you're like, I don't have any of that. But it's easy to start from the basics and then sort of build up. You know, like a pack of spaghetti. So easy. It might not be the healthiest thing, but... But if you get it in whole wheat, whole grain, pretty good for you. And then all you need is a can of pasta sauce. And that's so simple. And then you can do things like add ground turkey or ground beef, just a little bit you know, in a pan and then add that to the mixture. That's a spaghetti. You have a whole complete sauce. You just boil the noodles. They get all soft because they're hard. We might have some like legit beginners. They usually start off hard and then you boil it and it, then it gets warm and like soft and stuff. Then you add pasta sauce. You cut that up. I like to cut it. And then you've got spaghetti. Seriously, super easy. Easy meal. Or when I was in college, because we just graduated, you stick like one or two chicken breasts in like a double plastic bag, throw some barbecue sauce or any sort of like marinade in there, go to class, go to work, whatever you do. And then when you come home and you're ready to eat, just take that out of the bag, oven at 350 and put that in for 25 minutes and you've got chicken and rice. Could not be easier. And if you're in a dorm and you don't actually have any sort of cooking space to work with, some dorms actually do, they have community kitchens or other options. The best and easy way to do things is a microwave or sort of a hot plate sometimes, some dorms allow that. But one of the easiest meals is ramen noodles. But with all of that advice, it doesn't mean you can't treat yourself to, you know, some quick satisfying takeout or going to a fast food restaurant. My biggest weakness is Wendy's. I'm happy to admit it. Their burgers are just 
Mmm. So truly, I really wish I didn't eat out so much because, you know, looking back, I could have saved so much money and also eaten a lot healthier. And if you're wanting to do the same and do some great cooking in your dorm or apartment, or even get necessities like utensils, plates, or cups, you definitely need to check out dormco.com. They have a ton of dorm room supplies for super cheap but awesome quality. Check out the links below and shipping is only $2.95 for all orders. If you have any questions about dorm food, cooking in college, or even some cooking advice, please leave a comment and we'll be sure to answer. Thank you for watching and I hope this video helped a little bit with what to expect when you make that big transition to college.